Hi, Lucky Water Rat back again. I'm going to walk you through the Zhao Yi sports camera, action camera um, app. So I installed the app. It was uh, tremendously difficult to uh, find the app and then download it onto my phone. Um, the app had to be sideloaded. It's not available on the Play Store, so that's uh, that's a huge windup, and it's going to be very difficult for some less technical people to uh, do that. Also, the original app was only in Chinese, and the updated app is available is automatically in English. I don't know how that worked, um, but sideloading a, uh, an app uh, from China is uh, I have to say a little bit um, nerve-wracking but it seems to be uh, totally legitimate so that's fine so um, when you open the app um, it's searching for the camera what you need to do is you need to turn the camera on and you need to then uh, turn on the Wi-Fi by holding down the Wi-Fi button on the side for a while there we go so now the Wi-Fi is on. Um, I don't know what this button does. Ah, so it's searching for the camera now. Um, so I didn't find it again. Usually it does connect automatically the last couple times I've done it anyway. So it still didn't work. So let's just connect to it uh, manually, maybe. It's, uh, oh, here we are. Is it this one? Oh, this is the one that it's called, but for some reason it is not working. Oh, now the blue light is flashing. That's a good sign. Let's go back to the uh, to the camera app. All of these uh, cameras, Wi-Fi, are sort of dodgy to connect to on the phone. I don't know why. Okay, we've got a connection. So here we are. Um, the latency actually seems to be uh, less than uh, with than the uh, GoPro on the GoPro app. There's still obviously a lot of latency. This is by no means uh, a you know strictly live image. There's quite a delay on it. Anyway, so we can we can uh, go through some of the uh, options and features here. First, let's dive into the options. So, as you can see, the app is uh, fairly slick. It's uh, nicely designed, it's clean, and uh, looks, looks pretty good. So, uh, video quality, high, normal, low. Timestamp, on, off, date, time. Resolution, so it can do 1920 by 1080, 60 frames a second. It can do, um, 30 frames a second, 48 frames a second, 24 frames a second. It can do 1280 by 960, which is 4 to 3 at 60 frames a second, or 48 frames per second. It can do 1280 by 720, which is again 16 by 9 at 60, 48, or 120 frames a second. It can, it can do 848 by 480 at 240 frames per second. And uh, if you change the um, if you change the uh, video standard to PAL, you get some different frame rates. You get 50 or 25 instead of 60 and 30 frames a second. Um, and I think that's the uh, you get 100 frames a second and 200 frames a second down there. So. Those are different if you switch it to PAL. 
the um, metering, metering mode, center, average, spot. Uh, so the uh, video, it can only be 16 to 9 at the high resolution. If you want 4 to 3, then you're stuck with a 1280 by 960 resolution. This is a little bit unfortunate because the uh, photos are all 4 to 3 um, from 16 megapixels down to 13, um, 8, and 5 megapixels. They're all 4 to 3, so it's a little bit of a shame that the uh, full HD resolution videos are not available to, uh, to be recorded in the 4 to 3 aspect because some people like that. Um, the default photo mode, you can have these for self timer, time lapse, or burst. And um, there's some other stuff. The one very interesting feature, if I can find it, where did it go? Ah, lens rectification. So that means the uh, camera has a fisheye lens. It, says that it's 155 degrees diagonal field of view so it's very wide and you've got um, a, a fish eye projection which means lines are curved but you can turn this on and let's go back to the picture so I'll point this over here so you can see the lines are straight now I'll uh, I'll put it back on the uh, on the other one. I'll rest the camera down here, so you can see the lines are all straight. I'll turn off the lens rectification, and you can see now the lines are uh, the lines are curved. So that's a very, very nice feature. It's doing some real-time uh, remapping of the, uh, of the lens of the pixels into um, traditional rectilinear projection. That's something not available on the GoPro. That's uh, pretty nice. A lot of people are bothered by the uh, fisheye projection, so-called distortion. Uh, so that's, uh, that's a really nice feature. The other. Other options are fairly standard, um, uh, auto power off time and Wi-Fi settings. You can set your password and your Wi-Fi hotspot name and all that stuff. So the the main things to consider here are um, the resolution available in the video and photo and the handy um, lens rectification mode. Now in the app, uh, if you uh, if you want to take a photo, you can just do that. And uh, if you want to take a video, you can see if you switch between photo and video, it uh, goes between four to three and sixteen to nine. So it's uh, cropping for the video. Uh, so yeah, if you want to shoot a video, press record. Sometimes it's a little bit flaky. Uh, that's not surprising. Most of these types of apps are not always perfect. But it uh, seems to work pretty well. And um, there's this thing called Snapshot. Um, I don't know if you can read the resolution here. It says 640 by 480, 4 to 3, 30p. So, it is, um, oh, it seems to be recording a video for a few seconds. You can see that red going in a circle, and it stopped. So that's sort of a, okay, so it's just a short video.
that immediately gets uh, sent to the phone. If you go to photo, you've got your uh, different modes here, time lapse, you can set the you can set the time from uh, half a second up to 60 seconds, so one picture every half second, one second, two seconds, five seconds, ten seconds, thirty seconds, or sixty seconds. Um, you can do burst, three photos per second, five photos per second, seven photos per second, or seven photos in two seconds. And you can have self timer of three seconds, five seconds, ten seconds, or fifteen seconds. So um, that's that's about all I think. Um, you've got your connection status, camera battery, phone battery down here. It looks like my camera battery is just about finished, so I think it's about time to wrap this up. Um, and I think that's all. Anyway, the, uh, the app seems to work really nicely. The uh, auto connection to the Wi-Fi does seem to work pretty well. I have other cameras where it works worse than this. Um, so that's, that's nice to see. And overall, the uh, image quality does seem to be good. I haven't had a chance yet to shoot this during the day. But um, the video quality seems to be more than adequate and the photo quality seems to be pretty okay also although it's a little bit soft at the edges from what i can tell so far i'll be publishing a more thorough review of the video and photo quality very soon stay tuned this has been a lucky water rat review thank you everybody